really they, they, it's spinning, I bet. Yeah, it's it's the wrong fitting. It's a corp adapter or something. So the reason we're down here now that you've watched some digging, there's two meter pits here going to this building. Uh, makes a total of three services. So one service has been split off. That leg has been split off into two pits. Now this was all done by a plumber. We brought them some parts to get them by and they totally butchered this. I'm not going to mention any names of who the plumber was, but you think they know how to do this stuff. So we're down here digging it all up to fix it because our meter technician came down to put a meter in this. Now, Derek, point it, point it where that bar is. Yeah, that bar that's loose. How, how is a person supposed to put a meter in a setting that is three foot below grade? Um, why, I don't even know why you would put that at the bottom of the tile that way so it makes it impossible to work on so now we're down here we're gonna try to fix all this stuff they went to put a meter in it yesterday our meter tech turned it on water started flowing out of the bottom of the pit the meters were sitting directly on the dirt in the bottom so they've got this whole situation jacked up now we're gonna have to fix it well we found one of the lines and poked a hole in it What is that? Inch and a half. Looks like inch and a quarter, but he said inch and a half. Must be inch and a half outside. Did you shut it off? Yeah, it's off. That's good right there. I stuck that tooth right in that line. <laughs> That's a typical Friday on a Wednesday. You want to get fixed up for me, D? <laughs> the other pit? Yeah. No, no. no, hopefully not. We're trying not to. Right now we are. Maybe you just shove that one inch up in there and then uh, just, just tape foam. it. Tape it. Spray foam around the end of it. Man, that sure don't look like inch and a half, does it? It sure does. You guys get the sleeve out of it? Yes, yep. Sir. We had an inch and a quarter sleeve in the truck. We said stuff bends pretty easy. Yeah, that's the best part about one inch. Yeah, actually, put your, put your knee on. when you get to messing with it, one inch is like the easiest to work with. There you go. That looks nice. Your uh, that fitting may slide all the way down that one inch, and then you can go back onto your poly. Yeah. What? Put that sleeve in there and then cut it off and we'll take it off again. <laughs> Family video. Not too many people renting videos anymore. Oh, oh it stops. Oh, yeah. That ain't gonna work. Got to stop in it. Watch yourself and cut your damn wrist. Oh, come on, Brownie. You know the only time that happens is when you say something. So thank you. <laughs> I'm going to put my wrist on the end of this copper I just cut. Pull on it. You know, I don't make a big deal about it, Brownie. Well, not until you slice your wrist and you're bleeding uncontrollably, but by the time eight. ER gets here, you'll be dead. That's a little exaggerated. No, it ain't. Yeah, you, you, cut cut, it right. you don't cut your wrist this way. You That's what I'm saying. The way you had it, how hey, you know I was going to slice? It went out in 30 seconds. 
<laughs> you can't cut cut your wrist right before Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah. Thanksgiving prayer will be the blessed and still have Derek with it up to cut your wrist. What are you most thankful about? Derek's still here. <laughs> Hey. Oh man. I'm sorry, Tim. It's okay. We got uh, we got plenty. You can write me up if you want me if you want to. I don't think I could write you up on that. Probably not. Talking about being president. Talking about that. That's a borehole. I think that's the one they bored in. They probably set up over here and shot that sucker in a big circle. Was she really pressed in there for water? I said we'd have it back on here in a few minutes. There was a piece of tile, so like maybe an old uh, meter pit tile. Oh, it was a piece of tile. Yeah, maybe just a piece. It never did. A piece of tile. <laughs> so it never did. What about that other gas line? It's, it's still there. Whatever it is. I, I pulled up. I saw that black line over here. I said, "Oh, they must cut that gas out." No. Jack said, "No, them quick and idiots probably tore the water line out from Jimmy John's." Yeah, that's that's exactly what I did. I pulled on it until until the tooth went through the pipe, and I thought, well, that should be good enough. So yeah. That's where I stopped. Yeah, that should be that should be enough. It stops. You don't see it. Okay, I'll run inside there before you turn it on, so say you can turn on a mop sink or something. Make sure the urinals are shut off. Yeah, yeah really. Didn't plan on doing that today, though. All good? I don't know. I haven't even looked at the fittings. I've been on my phone. Oh, okay. Looks good. These here are corp adapters. They're not even pipe thread. This is pipe thread. They screwed this all up. Yep. I don't know if you can possibly get any more of that. Yeah, there's a three quarter to one inch. That's one inch. Back down to three quarter. <laughs> and we're going back up to one inch on the ends. They bent that with a hammer. Looks like. How many fittings can you get in one meter pit? Yeah. Apparently 12. All of them. <laughs> yeah. All of them. Let's see what we can round up. We'll, we'll make well, it look nice. Well, this is what it's supposed to look like. Yeah, none of the spanners. None of the spanners for the... Oh, I just... Whoops. See, that's where it's supposed oh, to look That might have like. been what was leaking. Yeah, it was. You see that. Yeah, see that flat? Not even a gasket in there. No, that, it's a corp <laughs> it's, adapter. It's a corp adapter, yeah, I know. That's but... not made to go on pipe thread. Those no. are two different threads. Stupid dumb, dumb heads. It's supposed to look like this. If I can get it to go back to where it was. Yeah, and he's not even having to really wrestle with that because they didn't <laughs> tighten any of the spanners. Nothing's tight. That's what it's supposed to look like. And it yeah. was like this. So, yeah, they... <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. They don't know what they're doing. <laughs> Fly by night is what you get. We don't claim to be professionals, but we do have common sense. Yeah, we do know a little bit. A lot of stuff we had to dig around. The gas line. We got the line going to the restaurant fixed. And those two paper towels are in the one inch plastic lines that we're gonna be hooking up in this pit. We have figured out that we did a one inch tap 
for that other meter pit, so it's completely isolated from this mess. We'll be back. What is it? None of it was tight. No. That's gonna, you may have to I shut it off. Yeah, you're gonna have to shut it off. Good? Just go ahead and shut it back off a second while you're messing with that. Because you'll probably have to loosen that, uh, that on the side. yeah, loosen the one on the copper just a little bit and then wrench that one in. You shut it back down. Got a, got a leaker. I got a leaker. There you go. Now see if you can. You got a leak, Brownie. <laughs> try, try and spin the side you that might be tight. So the side you have your skinny wrench, try and tighten that in. Put that wrench over. Yeah, there you go. Something's messed up on that. Yeah. You sure it's not? On. Yeah, we got another one. It might be cracked or something. One of them didn't feel like it went together right to begin with. And then I put the wrench on it and it seemed like it was okay, but. That's probably got boogered up thread. Probably. Loosen that on the plastic there. Probably. Zach. The threads are messed up.
long fitting going into that reducer. Oh, a lot of them have prices. Yeah, they, they got the wrong stuff. Okay, so down there you can see where we got that coupling that, that that was existing on the lines that were in there, right? And we replaced one and it quit leaking and the other one's leaking. Uh, Brownie checked these to make sure they were tight and they were tight, but here's the problem. This is one inch female pipe thread to one inch compression, right? This is the center part of a three quarter by three quarter dresser. That is not, that is compression thread. That's made for uh, a line to go into with a rubber gasket and be compression. It's not made to thread into pipe. So even though it starts in there and they've mutilated it and forced it in there, that's not right. It's just like threading it into there backwards. It's close, but that's not a pipe thread. And again, these, these this was a, a professional plumbing company that did all this crap. So even if we would have been able to get that turned on, that would have leaked like crazy. Just like that one is down there. It just, it, it blows my mind. You know, these people get paid a fortune to do this stuff and have no common sense whatsoever on just basic fittings.